Sometimes we can, sometimes we can't. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. What do we need to be doing? Thinking. 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 Feeling. Make sense? We need to know your customer. We need to know. We need to know. Next topic. Do we need a break? No. Okay. Oh, okay. Go ahead. All right. Here we go, guys. Topic is preventing uh, officiating. For me, this is an important topic. But I'll be honest with you. Read right here. You cannot prevent a human being to behave, act in a certain manner. However, we can work in a preventative way or a preventative approach to try to get it into people's minds. Does it make sense? Who has a question regarding this? Bottom line, we have teenagers in there. We have coaches that are frustrated. They deal with so many things, so many things. Can we, we cannot control them 100%. We cannot prevent the foul. We cannot prevent a yellow card, a red card, a mass confrontation. What we can do is work in a preventative way, in a preventative manner. Try to get into their mind. Have them think, have them compose, have them calm. Yes. yes. One of the things I do, I talk to the players. Yes. When, when they commit the, yes, people follow, you know, this is Perfect. This is where we're going. Yes, we're going. Heat engage. Feel the game. Oh. Present. Proximity to the plate. Right? Body language. By showing your right balance between authority and self-control. Okay? A perfect balance, guys, between authority and self-control. Communication. Private. Swinging by the path of the player to be preventative. Careful. Watch it. Release. Don't do it. Okay? I'm here. What's your timing on that type of thing? Eh? Uh, respect. Be respectful. Respect the opponent. Respect eh? the referee. I respect you. Please respect. Okay. These are the things that can help you. Public to everyone. Uh, short distance, long distance. Okay. <coughs> you can't make that run to get over there. But you use your voice. Hey, take it easy. I got you, Ricardo. Easy, guys. Okay. You use your voice. Short distance, long distance. Okay? Then everyone sees, oh my gosh, this referee is engaged. Okay, this guy is cool. We're not going to be able to pull nothing over this guy. Prevention. Call in the foul. Call in the foul. Okay? Issuing warnings. Okay? Calm down. Tranquilo. Okay? Non Spanish speakers. Put that in your vocabulary. It's not about going to the taco shop, ordering two burritos, chimichangas, all that other good stuff. It's delicious. <laughs> I love it. But tranquilo. Tequila. Gonna take, yeah. Not tequila. Tequila. <laughs> and then when you go home, you can have your shot of tequila. But not you guys over there that are not even 21. Okay. Uh, and take it easy. No mas. And uh, you go. Show the yellow card. Okay. Give a brief talk on the, on the card. Because the brief talk can help to prevent the second caution. Okay. And then, hey, you got to do it, you got to do it. Showing red cards, what does it prevent? What does it prevent? Mass conversation. Yeah? Sometimes. 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 They're going to do it. They're going to do it. Can't do it, anything about it. But sometimes we have to get rid of some of the problem players. Issue yellow cards. Call fouls. The game is... Rising up, the temperature's rising up, frustration is going, you know? Can we do it? Can we do it?
guys. Dual system. Next one. <laughs>
close enough to communicate. Yes, it is. Right? Sometimes we can, sometimes we can't. These are the challenges that we face as dual. Why can we communicate here? Is it difficult? Can we multitask? So we see the player up top right there. He's impossible offside. So can we can we do this and this? Communicate and prevent and see the offside. Sometimes we can, sometimes we can't. It's a tough that's, one in this situation. That's the challenge of being in a duel. That's the challenge. That's the teamwork. That's getting the person's back. Make sense? Here, as a referee, you should recognize if you're working with a three uh, referee crew, right? Uh, then you need to recognize that your AR is over there and now you got to take, you have to take ownership here. If, if it's going the opposite way and there is no uh, reason to be ready for the offside decision, uh, then now you need to work here. Hey! is a big word. <laughs> what? <laughs> hey! you're losing gonna be. Are they gonna be more sensitive? kick number 20 who already got a jersey. Black player wanted to kick him. Black jersey. Push. Push. Up. We're taking too many risks. Too many risks? Keep it simple. Simple. Hey. The, the game is escalating. We need to feel the game. Especially the, the losing team is attacking. They're trying hard. The white team, the winning team, well composed there in the back, boom, they get the ball, they come out, and right away, you know, the losing team wants to get the ball back. They're frustrated. So the minute there is a little contact, boom, boop, just lose it. And then, right up there. What part of the field is it on? What part of the field? Middle, 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 middle third. Yeah. There you go. Who cares? For a foul. He didn't call anything there. Presence, guys. Guys, 
attack roll. Is it going to have that reaction? Can we be engaged? Can we feel the match? Can we be preventative? Look at the referee. Look at the referee. Can you see him? Can you see him? Yes? Is the referee in a good position? Yes or no? No. Uh, surging in? Yellow card if the referee is in good position. Red card, no. Go. Good position, yellow card. Red card, not a good position. Three, two, one, go. Okay, now put the cards down. Uh, now, if you have a sanction for that, put your card up. What card do you have there that, that tackle? Here we go. All right, why is he in a good position? Uh, I mean, he's, he's following the play. Okay, what else? Following the play, That's what it, else? Go back. He's, his eyes are on him. I mean, so what kind of tackle was it? Slide tackle. Careless. Careless, I will say careless tackle, yeah. Okay, was it a, even if it's, if he gets the ball, it's a strong, it's a strong tackle, right? So Violent. look at him, look at him. It's a hold. Let's put it on live is, play. Is he, is he going into the play? After, after no. the contact? No. That's what we're, we're talking about. Oh, okay. Preventing, seeing what possibly can happen. What could possibly happen with, after a tackle like that in front of the bench? What could possibly happen? Everything. Everything. Thank you very much. Think, guys. Feel the game. Engage in the game. Even after he's out on game, the team that fouled his he needs to hop a little closer just to have a little more contact with the players, the bench, everybody else, just so they know, hey, I'm on. I'm on. Thank you very much. Excellent. Excellent. Right. What does he have? Everton does. The player that tackled, get up. He's telling him, get up. Yeah. The moment he does that, he's taunting, right? Yep. Yeah. Could, how are the teammates going to respond? Rather than following the player. There you go. Thank you very much. Who are the players, the teammates going? Are they going to run against who? And they're gonna run to the play, or they're gonna run to the player that committed the strong tackle, and then told them, get up. Yeah. And he starts walking. Where's he, where, where are the teammates gonna go? After yeah. this guy. That's where we're heading. That's where we're heading. Stop. Not stop when they're here. Stop when they're coming, stop. Go away, stop. I got it. Make sense? Yep. Preventative. Third. Feel the game. Here we go. Not same. Uh, very similar. Guys, comments. Very similar. Look at the referee. How quick was he there? Awesome. <laughs> now, which one was a stronger tackle? This one. This one. How quickly the referee got there, right? Diffuse, be preventative, act. Do we need to see it again? Or are we good? Okay, thank you. I like the answer. So, any questions? Any questions regarding the uh, presentations? You can even revert to the previous one.